Welcome to Mr. Ace Math. This lesson is on prime and composite numbers. Before you begin, you should make sure that you're comfortable with division, with the times tables, and most importantly, with what factors are. These are very critical in this lesson, so you have to make sure that you know what factors are. So make sure you're good with those, and let's get started. So first of all, what exactly are prime numbers? A prime number is any number that can only be divided by two numbers. And those two numbers are 1 and itself. Let's take a look at some examples. We'll have the number we're talking about, and we'll list its factors. Let's start with the number 2. What numbers can go into 2 evenly? Only 1 and 2 can go into 2 evenly. Therefore, 2 is a prime number. How about the number 5? Well, what numbers can go into 5 evenly? Again, only 1 and itself. And that makes these numbers prime because they only have two factors, 1 and themselves. Here it's 1 and 5, and for 2 it's 1 and 2. How about the number 3? Same thing. It can only be divided by 1 and itself. Its only factors are 1 and 3. How about 11? Same thing. It only has two factors, 1 and itself. So 3 and 11 are also prime numbers because they only have two factors, 1 and itself. Composite numbers are basically the opposite of prime numbers. A composite number is any number that can be divided by more than two numbers evenly. Let's take a look at some examples. We'll list the number and their factors. Let's take the number 15. What numbers can go into 15 evenly? In other words, what are the factors of 15? Well, the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. Not just 1 in itself, 15 can also be divided by 3 and 5. Therefore, 15 is a composite number. How about 9? 9 can be divided by 1, 3, and 9. Therefore, 9 is also a composite number. How about 22? What are the factors of 22? Well, 1, 2, 11, and 22 are all factors of 22. Since it has more than two factors, it's a composite number. And how about 100? 100 is definitely a composite number. The factors of 100 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 25, 50, and 100. 100 is definitely not a prime number. It's definitely composite. It has a whole lot of factors here. So again, any number that can be divided by more than two numbers evenly or has more than two factors is a composite number. How about the number 1? This is something that my students ask me all the time. Well, what does that make 1? That means 1 has to be prime. Technically, no. 1 is not prime. The number 1 is neither prime nor nor composite. And the reason why is prime numbers have two factors. Composite numbers have more than two factors. But one only has one factor, itself. Not one and itself. The number one has only one factor. Only one can divide one. Therefore, one is a special case. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. We've discussed what prime numbers are. We've discussed what composite numbers are, but can you tell them apart if you have to pick? So let's take a look at some of these numbers here. Let's start with the number 5. Do you think 5 is prime or composite? 5 is prime because it only has two factors, 1 and 5. How about 15? 15 is a composite number. It has factors of 1, 3, 5, and 15. How about 12? 12 is composite because 12 has factors of 1, 
2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. More than just two factors. How about 21? 21 is also composite. 21 is composite because it has factors of 1, 3, 7, and 21. How about 17? 17 is a prime number. And it's prime because it can only be divided by 1 and itself. It only has factors of 1 and 17. Therefore, it's prime. How about 2? 2 is a prime number. A lot of students get confused between even and odd, and they think all even numbers have to be composite. That's not true. 2 is a prime number because it only has two factors, one and itself. How about 50? 50 is a composite number. It has more than just two factors. It can be divided by 1, 50, 2, 25, 5, and 10. Therefore, it's definitely composite. How about 51? Believe it or not, 51 is composite. A lot of students think, oh, well, it ends in a 1. It has to be prime. Not true. Look at 21. It ends in 1, and it's not prime at all. 51 has factors of 1 and 51, but it can also be divided by 3 and 17. How about 99? 99 is composite also. It can be divided by a whole bunch of numbers, including 1 in itself, as well as 9 and 11, and 3 and 33. And how about 101? 101 is prime. It can only be divided by 1 and itself. So here's your pause and practice. Just pause and practice. Hit the pause button, and when you're done, unpause the video, and followed by a 3, 2, 1 countdown, your answers will be displayed. Ready, set, go. So let's take a look at our answers. Number one, is composite. Number two, is neither. Remember, one is a very special case. It is neither prime nor composite because it only has one factor, itself. Number three, 11, is prime. Number four, 31 is prime. Number five, 39 is composite. Number six, 97 is prime. Number seven, two is prime also. Number eight, 34 is composite. Number nine, 59 is prime. And number 10, 111 is composite. So what did we learn from this lesson? A number that can be divided by only two numbers is called prime. The two factors of a prime number are 1 and the number itself. A number that can be divided by more than two numbers is called composite. The number blank is neither prime nor composite. That's the number 1. It's a very special case. And numbers that go into other numbers evenly or without a remainder are called factors. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for using Mr. Ace Math. Don't just pass math, ace it.